Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Django. And you're learning Django along with DivKLearn. So today uh, we are going to talk about adding a class test page. Although I've added the page there, but I've not given a link here. So very quickly, let me just show you that how I do that as well. So if I'm here, I can write down add a test page. The better is that if I go to that page and I say add a view to test. So we just give it the same name here. Add a view to test. And then I'll just highlight it, right click, link. Okay. I think that's not the exact name of the page in order to link it. It's just a view to test. Yeah. So we'll not say add a view, but a view to test. Yeah, here we are. So very quickly, I'll run the show again. So in a view to test, what we are doing is we are testing the view to work on the dev ops or on product testing. So that is where um, if you want to test, do the testing on the production environment uh, and still remain very close to the production, that's the way place where we will where we'll be doing the testing on a view which is created on the testing. So for that, you will have to do the same procedure that we have been doing. We have been creating view, um, adding a new method to the views.py. We'll be updating the um, urls.py so that the routes can be updated and also we'll be adding an html page in the templates having done this uh, we will execute the page and check it so let's just very quickly see the code as well that we have worked on so the first thing as i mentioned we created a view and that views uh, was created in the views.py so here um, i added a view called dev page which would be taking the request and it is giving me an error as well. So it's saying that we don't require it. So I'll put in a hash in front of it. It says that it is not no longer required. Then I go here and it says my demo one objects. That is fine. Objects reference. That is fine as well. This is fine as well. So it's most of the warnings and the type of spelling mistakes. But again, coming back to this part where we have um, created a dev page and in which we are um, calling the test page that we have created here, the test page.html. And the other thing is here, I'm also doing one thing that I'm looking for the employee's first name which start with a so i will get all the employees so might be a business requirement is that you need to display only the users which start with a b or c so why i'm showing you this is we are doing a testing which is closer to the production but we are not impacting the production till the time users are using it so you can see the context of abc and then this is where we are talking about sending the response so this would be going to the test page so in the test page i've done nothing new i've just created it as a child of the master page i have given it given it the heading at the title so i will just write down test uh, page so that everybody knows that this is a test page on the title link and then i'm just writing down uh, I'll also write down test page here so that we know that we are working on the test page itself internally. And then we are not doing much. It is just getting all the information according to the, the home page. So it, will, it is showing you the first name, last name details. And that's what it is showing you there. And I'm just saving it. Save all. And then uh, I need to take you to the URL. So in the URLs, I've written down path is dev page again the view is views dot dev page and the name is dev page so it would be calling the dev page method and the dev page method would be calling the test page html so for that let's 
we need to now run it. So for that, I'll come to the demo one sample one. And I will run it from writing down py manage.py.run server. So I will hit enter. This will execute the program. I'll click. Uh, this will execute and run the server, the development server. And I'll click on this IP address, which is 8000, which is on local. And I come to this page. But in order to go to the testing page, I have to go to the dev page. That's the URL that I mentioned. And I hit enter. And it gives me that page with all the uh, first name starting with A. So this is the way that I can create a test page. And now I can do all the testing on this page. And when I'm confident, I'll be just changing something on the title, which is here, which is saying tip K, learn a test page. But if you see here, this is the main page. Uh, okay, this is also not the main page. If I remove this, this is the home page that we have and we can see click here to list all the employees so this is demo one page but this is where we are creating the dev page so that we can do the testing and then once we are confident that what we, we were supposed to do we are doing it we can migrate it to the production or if the requirement changes we can we might have to dump it as well so that's what i wanted to talk about today and with that um, we come to the end of the session so what we have covered today is we, we talked about adding a view to the page and going through the complete process of it, creating the view, creating, updating the URLs, uh, and then updating the templates as well. With that, um, I thank you. I thank you for listening and learning with me. I hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning. Contact me uh, by writing me to me on the YouTube comments, or you can email me on tipklearner at gmail.com. So with that, thank you and a good day. Bye-bye.